and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another weekend of Harvest Moon. Good morning, Karen. Oh, man. Today is Wednesday, the 16th of spring. Nothing special's going on. We ain't got nothing going on until Friday, which is the local horse race. Gotcha. So, Karen, how you feeling this morning? It's becoming hard to even walk now. Oh, well, maybe we'll have to go talk to the doctor soon. Alright, guys. So, before we get too far into this, I am going to go ahead and say I apologize. <laughs> I sound different. I don't know. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. But, I feel like I do. And, it's because I'm sick. <laughs> I have not been feeling good. Uh, well, at least the past couple days. Yesterday I was feeling horrible just to the point where I absolutely did nothing. Um, today I feel better. It's just my my voice is still a little messed up. My head's a little congested still so yeah. But I figured there's no reason for me if I feel better today to stop um, you know videos. So I figured let's do a little bit of Harvest Moon. Also if you guys uh <laughs> you guys might experience me over this episode next, uh, possibly uh, pausing for a moment. Um, I might have to cough, and I don't want to cough in you guys' ear. I think that's inappropriate. I think we have to harvest these guys today. I'm going to try and do my best not to... Like, like whatever that is. Like, whatever you like, um... I don't know. <laughs> my nose is a little, a little runny, too, so I don't... Oh, these things aren't ready yet. Oh. I, they looked ready. You know what? Let's just leave the basket right here. They'll be ready soon. Um, did I want to harvest the cucumbers or not? Ah, right. Oh, yes. Cucumbers taking um, mayor guy house. Do, yes. Um, you said like two or three, right? Plus, we still need to harvest like seven of these um, to meet our 100 quota. So let's go ahead and just harvest all these guys. Plus, we'll make some money. So, ah, darn it. <laughs> ah, this is going to be difficult. <laughs> Doing this, this, recording this is going to be crazy. But I enjoy playing it, and I haven't done anything yesterday, so I feel a little, a little good getting here playing something today. Yesterday I pr practically did nothing and just tried to rest all day to feel better as soon as I could. Cause I absolutely did not feel good yesterday. My voice was just horrible yesterday. I like could barely even speak yesterday. Say so, wait, wait. Oh, hello, Luna. How are you doing out there, girl? So, I tried to spend practically all day yesterday just down and resting and stuff, so hopefully I could get better faster. Apparently. <laughs> um, I did bring three. I don't know how many he wanted. I think he wanted three? Let's hope so. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't have any way to get any more until they grow. What was I saying? Darn it, I forgot. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm sorry. I'm probably going to be doing some crazy, crazy stuff this weekend. On Harvest Moon, that is. Because I'm sick. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, but hopefully I won't have to do that, like, really, really bad. Hello, Billy. It's getting warmer every day. Stu shows me some bug coming out of the ground. Okay, then. Hi. Um, pretty sure that's the mayor's house. Um, maybe this one? One of these houses is the mayor's. Oh, there he is. Hi, did you bring those three cucumbers for cooking the cooking festival? Yes, I did. 
Great, thank you. If there's a kitchen, these cucumbers will be used at the cooking festival. Come join us that day. Will do, Mayor. Who are you? Me and this village go way back, you know. I've been taking pictures around here for 20 years now. I just want to show how people and animals can live together. The mayor supports my work, as did his father, the mayor. <laughs> the mayor and the mayor. Perfect. All right. Well, let's get back to the farm and continue our daily um, responsibilities. Yeah, my mind's not working great today. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I think I was saying before, I think I could practically tell whatever I had, it came on, like, as far as being sick is concerned, it came on, like, really fast. Like, um, I think it was Wednesday. Because right now I'm doing this, it's Friday. Um... <laughs> Wednesday evening, my throat started getting a little, I don't know, hmm, it's hard to explain, but I don't know if you guys ever had any issues like with sinuses draining down the back of your throat, I imagine that's possibly what this was, and usually when that happens for me, I get sick, every time just about. <laughs> But that's what it felt like, and I, I couldn't really tell if it was my sinuses, it just felt like my throat was acting like that. So, didn't think much of it, just figured, eh, we'll sleep it off, it'll be better tomorrow. The next morning I woke up, and I felt horrible. And it only got worse through the day, so... I went ahead and just tried staying in bed as much as I could, just to hopefully get better. Practically slept just about all day, didn't have a chance to do anything, and I didn't want to do anything either. Like, just sitting <laughs> in my office, I just, no, it did not work for me, so I went ahead and uh, tried to get as much rest as I could, like I said, and... Last night, which was Thursday night and um, early Friday morning, which is this morning. Um, <laughs> I know, I'm just trying to be descriptive here. Leave me alone. I'm trying to explain myself. Okay, there we go. I think I got everything watered. I uh, woke up a few times this morning and uh, I was sweating like crazy. Like, literally, my bed was just wet from the sweat. I know it's probably kind of disgusting. I'm sorry, but... I'm just trying to explain it here. Whatever I had, I think I... I think whatever, maybe like a little... I'll take the produce that's in the bin. Thanks, bud. I think whatever sickness I had was uh, broken this morning when I was sleeping, so... Sometimes when you sweat like that, and you're not used to sweating that much... When you're sick, I like to think that's when you, um... Break it. Sometimes... Well, at least that's... Me? I don't know. It might not be everyone else. Everyone's different. That's the thing. That's what I always go by. Everyone's different. Everyone gets through things differently than others, so... Alright, we got our farm watered. <laughs> that took practically all day. Oh, man. Alright, chickens. Pokey chickens. Let's take care of your eggs. Come here, you. There we go. So, I finally. <laughs> okay, let's just let's just say this. All right, this is gonna be a little crazy. I know you guys are gonna be like, "Bentley, do this, do that." I can't do it. Okay, I, I can't. I can't do it right now. Okay. I finally broke down and managed to buy myself a Nintendo 3DS. They were on sale. <laughs> I figured I, if I, I want, I've been wanted one, and I figured, you know, since I wanted one, I might as well get it while they're on sale. And I had enough to get it, so I went ahead and picked one up, and a copy of Pokemon Y. <laughs> so I've been playing the new version of Pokemon a little bit here and there in my spare time. And I gotta say, uh, what little bit I've played so far, I really, really like it. Like, 
every time they come out with a new version of Pokemon for um, handhelds, I always find that it just they keep getting better and better. And I really, really enjoy them. Like when I first played Pokemon uh, Black and White, I think it was just I think I played Pokemon Black. I loved it. Like it was awesome. I was like, "Oh, this is so cool." They got like stories integrating into this now. It's awesome. And then um I liked it so much. Uh, by the time I played Pokemon Black, the uh second versions were out like Pokemon Black 2 and White 2. So I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> I think it's time to go ahead and try these out too. So I went ahead and played those. I love those as well. So I think they're going a great job, going a great way with Pokemon. And uh, I love the new animations on the 3DS. It is amazing. Like as far as the uh, battle animations and everything, I love that. I've been wanting that for so long now. A few more little tweaks and whistles I wouldn't mind having in those things um, kind of like the red laser that you you know when you return your Pokemon and stuff I think that would be cool if they implemented that to return your Pokemon <laughs> but uh yeah I gotta say I, I really enjoy it it's awesome we'll get off that but I can't record that because I don't have anything to record it with I've tried looking and the uh, necessary um, piece of hardware is actually a modification apparently to your Nintendo 3DS and I was looking and apparently the person that does this really well is backlogged for like a long while now so it's probably not looking good right now <laughs> as far as trying to get that done oh nice look now we got two large containers of milk hello Tauros you seem in a good mood today Hello, Mil Think. You seem in a good mood today. Hmm. There, there, Flaffy. You look happy today. Oh, maybe. Okay, I was gonna say because that didn't seem like the same message for Tauros and Mil Tank. I think what it was, um, they might be at like a max affection now. What is that? Eight. Oh, maybe not. They might have two more. I think maybe it's because they're maybe on their quote-unquote final stage, possibly. That they're able to, um... Say that? I don't know. Kind of awkward. Where you at, Luna? Luna? There you are. I might want to go check the weather, too. There, there, Luna. Grow up fast. Because we don't want to leave her out there when it's raining. There you go. Yeah, let's go check the weather real quick. And we'll head off to bed. Check the uh, mail real quick. Nothing has come. Ah, oh, darn it. Yeah, this weekend I'm probably not going to make Harvest Moon as long just because <laughs> how I'm feeling. So, yeah. Alright, let's do weather. Here's tomorrow's weather forecast. Clear blue skies. That's all I needed to know. What? Oh, I was going to go see the doctor. I totally forgot to do that. And I need to see about getting Rex back. I don't know what's going on. Alright, guys. We'll see you guys bright and early in the morning. Good night. And good morning, Karen. Ah, another great day. Let's go ahead and start checking the weather every day. Tomorrow's forecast, clear blue skies. Nice. Horse races are tomorrow, but Luna's not grown up, so we don't have to worry about that. It's becoming hard to even walk now. Hmm. Might need to go talk to the doctor today be a good idea and what I might need to try and do I might have to take a, a, a moment to pause um, I might go get a cough drop and see if that might help my throat we'll see 
<laughs> ah, did you know the local horse race is tomorrow at the square? I was hoping you'd enter too if you had a large horse on your farm, but you can bet on the races. It's fun and a good break from your work, so why don't you come tomorrow? I'll be waiting for you. Thanks, Mayor. Much appreciated. <laughs> Alright guys, I think what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to go find me a cough drop. I'm sorry I have to do this to you, but you guys won't notice much difference. So I'm just going to quickly pause. I'll be right back. Alright guys, and we're back. So, yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's kind of hard to talk with a cough drop in your mouth, so I went ahead and just uh, enjoyed it for a minute. <laughs> my throat feels a lot better now, to be honest. I think what was happening, it was getting a little dry and scratchy and just problematic so I went ahead and just <laughs> had my cough drop for a few minutes I pulled it out and uh, if I want it again in a minute I'll go ahead and grab it but um, yeah <laughs> no reason to waste a perfectly good co cough drop so that's better Phew. Ah, anyways there we go alright let's get this farm taken care of real quick we gotta get everything watered I think our cabbages should be done in the next day or two, hopefully. Sure would be nice to get some of these cabbages growing, harvested up for us. In fact, how many of these things do we need? Hmm. I don't know how we've had 47 already. I guess maybe we, did we plant them last year? I don't remember planning them, that's the thing. Hmm. Anyway. Let's go ahead and get the flowers done. We need to go see the doctor today, too. I want to see if uh, maybe he knows anything about how maybe Karen's feeling or anything. Would be nice to um, maybe get an update, see how she's doing. But the flowers are growing. The flower garden's looking awesome. I think that's looking great. Cucumbers are doing good, I think. Let's check that real quick, see how many cucumbers we have. 113, we're awesome. Doing good. Alright, there we go. Oops. A little too far over for you. There you go. Now you... Ah, love the peacefulness of Harvest Moon. Good days, good days. I love it. So, yeah, with this whole YouTube thing, guys, um, I know I talked about it a little bit last weekend, but I really don't know how this is going to work in the new year. In fact, um, who made Harvest Moon? I think it was uh, Natsumi. I believe that's how they... Are pronounced the name of their company I don't know if they're allowing people to post their um, content I haven't checked into it yet so um, I'll have to look hmm. yeah I'm not I'm not sure if they are and I can get permission to post Harvest Moon then I will but I can't really see me posting it too much further than that um, because I think we're just almost done anyway. It shouldn't be too much longer. I mean, um, I don't know actually. Do I need? This is where my question comes in, I guess. Do I need a hundred milk, cheese, and yarn and wool? Hmm. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, "Yeah, that's probably not gonna be able to happen." Probably gonna have to just get a hundred of all my vegetables and everything. Alright, let's go ahead and see if we can't harvest everything up here. All this grass. Here we go. Oh, that is so cool. Hey, get out of here, frog. Alright, so we're gonna harvest everything. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> I love it. Better than a lawnmower. Who needs a lawnmower? Now, I gotta be careful because I don't want to hit Luna. 
Alright, she's coming that way. Let's go this way. Uh-oh. She's coming this way. Keep going. Bentley, don't you get tired of me. We gotta harvest this entire thing today. That's a lot of grass to harvest, though. Here we go. Almost done. It's kind of hard to mark where we need to do this effectively at. Oh, and it's already 2.30. We're going to have to go talk to the doctor soon. Uh-oh, Bentley's getting tired. I think one more good one here and we should be good. Oh, no. There we go. <laughs> so how much fodder do we have now? 246 fodder. I think we're okay. Alright, so we got mostly everything done today. I think we just need to take care of the cows, the sheep, Luna, the chickens, and our hot house. But first, let's go talk to the doctor and see what he has to say. Maybe he's got uh, some news for us about Karen. We'll just have to go over and see. Oh, wow, it's... And I'm busy out today. Alright, here we go. I don't like going to the hospital. So far away. Oh, wait, maybe I should talk to her. Hi! Hi. When you feel sick or get hurt, come to the mineral clinic. You'll find me there most of the time working. Isn't that this place? Okay. Got a very comfy chair there, Doc. Hello, Bentley. How's your health? The clinic is not open now. <sighs> you guys. <laughs> what are you doing on the second floor? Why don't you want me up there? <laughs> you ashamed of something, Doc? Anyway, I guess, I don't know, I, I'll have to wait for Karen. I guess we'll have to go when she's ready. Which seems to be very soon. So, we'll just keep an eye on her. All that good stuff. Let's go finish the farm up. Now, hmm. I really haven't had any plans to really do too much other stuff. Tough, like really I'll take the produce that's in the bin thanks bud <laughs> like over the past uh, couple weekends I've had like a plan you know I had um, the whole fence thing the paths flower garden Luna and her her large area outside I really don't have any other plans I could do anything with I was thinking about pulling the, um, maybe the cows and the sheep out, but I don't know if I want to do that right now. I might save that for some other time. Plus, I don't know if that is a good all-around idea anyway, so. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe, um, maybe you guys will help me out on that a little bit. There we go. You polka chickens. Hopefully you guys are doing good today. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get that uh, cough drop going again soon, so this is probably gonna be the only thing that I record today. Unfortunately. <laughs> I might even just um, come back and record the second Harvest Moon a little bit later on today just so uh, hopefully my throat can kind of clear up a little bit but I think we're just about done yeah darn you wish I had a one more larger 
red sack that could hold like just two more slots, just two more, and I'd be happy. But that's fine. How many fish do we have now? Seven. Hmm. I think we've actually had seven for a while now. I need to hurry up and reproduce faster. Oh, sweet. Looks like we got some harvesting to do in here today, too. Alright, well, let's go ahead and water everything real quick. In fact, I think I have to replant those, too. Alright, Bentley, don't you do that to me. Yeah, I gotta replant these. I think... Is that spinach? Yep. That would be spinach. How many of these do we need? A lot. <laughs> A lot. We only have nine. So, this will make 27 altogether. Which is good. And I'll have to go check to see if I got some more spinach seeds. Hopefully we do. Then we'll get these guys replanted and then... Heck, that'll pull us up to 45 after we get another two of these done. I think we might just get rid of the pineapples altogether and just start planting a whole bunch of stuff in here that we need. Because we got plenty of money now, even if our hothouse does get destroyed. I think we have enough lumber and money to go ahead and purchase us a new one, so... <laughs> yeah, I think we're okay. We have 112,000 gold. <laughs> That's insane. Hmm... We did buy this bell not long ago. That's cool. <laughs> I haven't even tried this thing out yet. Let's see if it works in the barn. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and give all the cows their fodder and the sheep. Of course, we gotta milk them too. So do they come this way, or...? Wait a minute, what's the purpose of this thing? When you ring the bell, cows and sheep gather, dear. I think that's only outside. So maybe we do need to take these guys outside. Hmm. I think I know what I got planned for later on. Maybe next episode, then. Maybe that's what we'll do. There you go. Hello, Mill Tank. You seem to be in a good mood today. I think we might just take them all outside. It's just the problem is taking them back in. It's going to be a little bit of a problem. It's just not going to be fun, that's all. And as far as the yarn and wool is concerned, that's going to be a problem. If we need a hundred of each of those, that's going to be insane. That's something we should have taken care of the first year, but... I didn't know about that. <laughs> Alright, Luna, so tomorrow's going to be a nice day out. I think I already brushed you for the day. Not sure. There, there, Luna. Grow up fast. Yeah, I think we did already. Oh, there you go. All right, well, I think that's enough productivity for the day. <laughs> Hopefully a little bit later on this afternoon, I'll feel a little bit better. But I think I'm going to go ahead and end it off now for today, guys. Um, Jose, thank you guys so much for watching. I will try to get back later today to get uh, the next episode ready for this weekend. So thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, good night.